Hey there, back again with uh, another non-film review. For those of you that tune into my channel for the film and stuff reviews, a little bit of a different video this week. Um, I did three videos on Lucifer. The show was saved. I'd like to think I may have had a small part in that, thanks to everybody who got it saved. And at the end of my last video, I said my next bitching and ranting video is going to be about why I think pro wrestling sucks now. So if you've never been a pro wrestling fan, you may not want to watch this. But if you used to be one and you're not now, eh, you might be interested. So here's a uh, brief history of my history with wrestling. I grew up watching pro wrestling. Uh, my grandfather on my mom's side watched... Uh, uh, WC world, world Class, which then changed into USWA, so I grew up a very little kid watching the Von Erics on his TV. I live in Cincinnati, and back in the 80s, we were lucky enough, we were right in the middle of everything. We got WWF, we got NWA, which then became WCW, and we got World Class, which then became USWA. And then in the 90s, we got ECW. So growing up in that time, wrestling was fantastic, and it just got better and better and better, and I even liked all the stupid gimmicks. Like, uh, when they had Duke the Dumpster Josie, my, my buddy Matt, that's one of his favorite gimmicks of all time, because it's a fucking guy who walks around with a garbage can. What do you say about a guy who is so into his job that he carries around a garbage can, he takes his work home with him? That's somebody who's dedicated. Here's the problem. Wrestling used to be fun. It used to be sporadic. It used to be entertaining. It's one of those things that the internet kind of destroyed, because now we know everything. You know, and I, for anybody that's immediately wanting to post, you know wrestling's fake, right? Hey, you know when, when, when Leatherface uh, sawed that guy's face off in, in, in Texas Chainsaw 2? You know that didn't really happen? Amazing, isn't it? Of course it's fucking fake. Well, it's scripted. But as somebody who... I actually, for those of you who don't know, I worked in the business for a couple years. Even had a couple matches. Took a couple pretty sick bumps. It was a lot of fun. Uh, in fact, I, th I think he watches this. A guy that I used to work with, his name's Logan, and I, I managed him for a brief period, period of time. We did a spot where he did a Death Valley Driver to me onto a chair. It hurt. <laughs> there was a time I took kendo stick shots to the back. And the worst I ever got hurt is a guy named A.J. Moore, who I have all the respect in the world for. This wasn't his fault at all. We did a spot where he threw me out of the ring. I forgot I had my keys in my pocket. So I go over the top rope, land on the ground, keys just jams right into my leg. It hurt so fucking bad. So if it was fake, none of that would have hurt. But it all did. So... If you're going to be one of those, well, wrestling's fake, I don't give a shit. Just just go on, watch some other videos, I don't care. Here's my thing. Wrestling, for me, a couple years ago, just died. It's not entertaining anymore, and it's not because the matches aren't good. There are people still putting on quality matches. These matches lately with AJ Styles and, and Shinsuke Nakamura have been amazing. Uh, I think Jeff Hardy is doing some of the best work he's ever done now that he's not completely messed up on meth. You know... I'm glad guys are taking it at a slower pace and not trying to kill themselves, because as much as I loved ECW, it kind of ruined the future, because it was like, here's the bar, you can't really go past that, because then people will start getting fucking killed, which people have been. But why does wrestling suck now? I am not going to be talking about Ring of Honor because I don't watch it. Um, not because I don't want to, I just don't have the time to watch everything. I don't watch uh, TNA Impact. I used to when it was first around. When Jeff Jarrett was in charge, and AJ Styles, and Christian, and Tyson Tomko were their big guys, I loved it back then. This is all my opinion. So anyone, well, of course you can disagree with me, but if you're just coming on here to troll and tell me wrestling's fake, you know, fuck off. But what I'm about to say is just my opinion. I welcome any disagreements, not just people bitching, but if you're like, no, here's why I disagree with you, I accept that. The biggest reason, in my opinion, why wrestling sucks now is two reasons. One, the fans. The fans have smartened themselves up so much that every wrestling fan on the internet thinks they're smarter than any, every other wrestling fan on the internet. So every, people who are kind of into pro wrestling go under sites, and I won't name because I don't know if I'm allowed to do that in these videos. Um, and the, the comment section is just, oh my god, the biggest nerds of the nerdiest wrestling nerds fighting with each other over who's got the biggest dick. It's, it's, it's just, it's pathetic. And I could see other people who used to be into wrestling, like, oh, maybe I'll look into it, see that, and be like, oh no, I don't want any part of that. So, internet wrestling fans are killing wrestling. They really are. They're, they make it so you don't want to talk about it with people, because you're afraid you're going to talk to one of these smart marks. However... The other reason I think pro wrestling is really suffering right now is the announced teams. 
I know that's ridiculous, but they're the guys we hear. Now, that was my main job when I first started working for IPWA and UIW Wrestling. I only did a couple shows with them. Um, I had a great time there. Me and my buddy Matt were... Uh, his, he went under, I went under the name Jay Devious. It was just J. Period Devious, and I stole that from The Simpsons. Remember the episode where Homer goes to find his middle name because it's Homer J. Simpson, and it finds out it's J. J. A. Y. That's what the J. stood for in J. Devious. I thought that was really funny. And my buddy Matt, when he went by Big Al, because his middle name is Al and his his father's name is Al, so he went by Big Al. And we were the announce team for a very long time, and we loved it. And we had people tell us that, like, oh, we love the matches and everything, but listening to you guys talk is so funny. And they bought, some of them had me autograph their DVDs because they bought it to hear what we had to say. I mean, no disrespect. I mean, my, the, our guys were putting on some great matches. A couple stinkers here and there, but uh, some buddies of mine, like uh, the Assassins, um, uh, Eric Fallen. Any, anybody who watches my videos, I've known Eric for a long time. Haven't seen him in years. Would love to again. Fucking fantastic worker. So people didn't buy it. I mean, I'm not saying they bought it just for us, but we also gave people a reason to buy the DVDs because they could hear what we had to say. They couldn't see that live unless they were sitting right next to us, which I almost had a guy come across the table at me one day. I had to have security come over because I said something about, uh, what was it, Dayton is one of the only cities in, in, in the United States where there's more chicken restaurants than dentists or something like that. And I said how Dayton is the toilet of the state of Ohio. The reason the wind always feels like it's swirling around is because all the garbage and shit just gets flushed into downtown Dayton. I was a heel commentator, by the way. I was kind of a blend of Jim Cornette and Roddy Piper. I mean, I, I, I can't ever say that. That's disrespectful. Those two guys were amazing. Anyway, back on to the, why the announced team suck now. Corey Graves has no business ever working in any pro wrestling, anything ever. I'm sorry. He's not fun to hate. JBL was fun to hate. Bobby Heenan, when I was growing up, was a fun guy to hate. Whether you were watching him in his WWF days, and then he went on to WCW to be a heel commentator. When Jim Cornette, Paul Heyman, uh, Jerry the King Lawler when he was a heel. And even kind of Michael Cole when he was a bad guy. He, he was annoying enough that you wanted to beat the shit out of him, but he was good at that character. Corey Graves isn't. He's just irritating. He's just annoying. The sound of his voice, and he calls other people hipsters, and he's the biggest hipster you've ever seen in your life. I don't think he's talented on the microphone. I think that he's just lame to listen to. And half the time when I turn on, I, I don't watch wrestling to watch wrestling now. I turn it on when there's nothing else on. And I hear Corey Graves with his just think he's he thinks he's hilarious. And he's just not. I'm sorry. I think Corey Graves is just awful. And I don't think Byron Saxton is very good either. Uh, I disagree with a lot of the, the newer wrestling guys. I don't think Michael Cole is that bad of an announcer. And he gets it. He calls the spots the way they should be called. But the announced teams are just terrible. And some of the workers that are being pushed, like Roman Reigns, I'm sorry. Roman Reigns is not that great in the ring. I mean, for a big man, he's fine. But they wanted to push a big man that can actually work. Um, the one dude in the Bludgeon Brothers, which is the worst fucking name for a tag team ever, the Bludgeon Brothers. The Bludgeon Brothers. That's the name of an actual team. If you don't watch wrestling, that's actually a name of a team. The fucking Bludgeon Brothers. The, one of the, the one with the dark hair, that dude, I think Luke Harper's his name, for a big man, he can work. Yeah, he's not great on the mic and he doesn't have a wonderful look, but he can work his ass off. Push him, not Roman Reigns. The fans have told you they don't like him. Now, I would have, I was going to do this video a couple months ago and just other things came up, Save Lucifer campaign, and there was a wrestler that I could not stand and I couldn't get why he was being pushed, and that's Braun Strowman. I thought he looked dangerous in the ring, and I guess because I spent a couple years in the business watching matches firsthand and being a part of putting together some of those matches, I could see all the mistakes that Braun Strowman was making, and he was nearly hurting a lot of people. He was unsafe in that ring. And for a while, he was just that, oh, meat smash. And we've seen that a million times, and up until like two, three months ago, I'd be like, fuck this guy. But then they started adding a little sense of humor to his, his angle. And he's got this thing going on with Alexa Bliss where he's like mean to everybody, but he looks at her and smiles like, <laughs> like she's the one thing that can control him. I kind of like that, and he's gotten better in the ring. So I'm not going to come down too hard on Braun Strowman now. I think that guy has, has seriously improved. Um, some of the best things going for WWE today are some of the women's matches. And I don't mean that to sound derogatory, but that, that speaks volumes about the company that their women are putting better on uh, better angles and better matches than a lot of the men. Charlotte Flair is amazing in the ring. I love watching her wrestle. And I know a lot of people don't like Alexa Bliss, but I do. I could watch her. her t the way she talks, she's so good at turning that crowd on her. She is such a 
bitch. It's awesome. I love watching her talk. And sometimes she doesn't really say anything, but it's just that attitude. Just that, I'm better than you. And she's kind of hot. <laughs> uh, I think, um, what's her name? Um... The, the Snoop Dogg's cousin, I can never remember her name. She's excellent. The boss, whatever they call her. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and, and the Irish girl, the Irish last kicker, uh, Becky Lynch. Sasha Banks is the one I was thinking of. So there are some good things about wrestling today, but it's just not what it used to be. It's not as fun. There's nothing unpredictable happening. They need something fresh. And every time they do something good, they fuck it up. They brought the shield back, and unfortunately, a lot of people got injured. Uh, I won't say who, but because I don't want to toot my own horn, but there's a guy in the shield who I actually called one of his matches early on in his career. So go me. Actually, a couple of guys that I worked with are getting tryouts and you know working for different promotions. It's really cool because I don't do it anymore, and they all went on to succeed and I'm doing internet videos. So I don't know if you watch wrestling or not, but if you do comment. Tell me, I mean, if, if you disagree, if you like Corey Graves, if you think Braun Strowman's really good, I mean, we've got guys like Seth Rollins, who I think is one of the most gifted in-ring athletes they've got. He is, God, he's excelled. And of course, AJ Styles, one of the greatest workers on the planet. Um, just for shits and giggles to add to the video, if you've anybody going, hey, who's your favorite wrestler? My favorite wrestler of all time is Rowdy Roddy Piper. That's my favorite ever. I just loved everything about that guy. But as far as the people working in the business today, Chris Jericho is my favorite. I think all around he's got the best gimmicks, he can talk the best, and he puts on the best matches. So, yes, I'm a nerd that, I mean, I've got, people are, oh, I can't believe he likes wrestling. It's like, oh, my wall is covered with toys and Pokemon and I've got a Hotel Artemis poster and Gal Gano. Uh, I think I need a few minutes alone with this poster. See you later.